No doubt you've seen us use forge line wheels on some of the high-end pro touring cars we build on VATV. Well, today we've come to the forge line plant in Dayton, Ohio, to see how they turn these into those high-tech racing wheels. It's been said many times that the wheels can make the look of a car. And while forge line wheels are show quality, they're built strong enough for the stresses of racing. The difference between a race wheel and a street wheel is the race wheel is going to have a lot more strength laterally. R race wheels use tire, tire loads that are sometimes two and three times the grip of a street tire. Plus you have the aerodynamics of the race car, plus you're going around corners at sometimes 100, 100, 140 miles an hour. Or on the street, you're never going to see those speeds, you're not going to see those kind of cornering loads whatsoever. Today, about 50% of Forge Line wheels are purchased for race cars, and the other half for street use. Forge Line has always been involved in racing on many different levels. Fortunately, we, you know, we do have quite a few people running our wheels, and we've had a very successful a um, couple seasons, you know, winning championships and uh, currently winning IMSA and World Challenge. Forge line wheels are made in the United States, but so are the materials that go into the wheels, like the raw forgings. And even the machines are U.S. made, keeping a theme of American engineering and Midwestern pride alive. That's where our family is, that's where our support group is. Um, and frankly, I think the Midwest has the best workers that you can find. I mean, they're just, we just have a lot of very hardworking, very good people that live in this part of the country. And it is funny, everybody, people are shocked. People that don't know us, people are shocked that we're, you're in Ohio? Really? And uh, they all think we're in California. Yeah, Forge Line wheels look cool, but there is far more to them than just looks. Every wheel design begins on screen as Forge Line in-house engineers design each wheel and run it through finite element analysis to verify that the design is inherently strong enough for track use. All of our wheels are FEA tested, every single, every single wheel, and then every wheel in a series or any new wheel that we bring out gets sent out to an independent lab to get tested in. And we test our, all of our wheels at a much higher level than the SAE standards. The SEA standards use a coefficient grip level of 0.7, and they've been using that number forever. Well, most performance tires these days can, can go over a G. They're, they can pull 1.2, 1.3 on just standard, you know, a Michelin Supersport or, or a 4S. So we're, I'm not gonna tell you what we use, but, but we use a much higher level coefficient of friction than 0.7 to test all of our wheels, not just our race wheels. Once the design is finalized and determined to be safe, the CNC program is written for the machines. These will start as monoblock one-piece or three-piece wheels with outer hoops or barrels and the forged aluminum center. Forge Line does not create the barrels or raw forgings in-house, but they are in an exclusive agreement with an American producer to supply these. Once the forgings and barrels arrive, each wheel set is made individually to the customer's specifications. And if you've ever ordered custom wheels before, you know that there are many specs and measurements to get right. And that is why the Forge Line team works very closely with the customer to spec each wheel set for that customer's needs, driving style, and vehicle fitment. Forging is a process where the aluminum raw material is pressed tightly together to form a block that is far stronger than the raw material in its natural state. Forging creates the strength that you need to make a proper race wheel. Where all of our stuff is forged. The centers are forged, the monoblocks are forged, the rim shells are 6061 T6, same material, but they're spun, not forged. When it gets forged, the, it creates a grain flow that follows uh, the map of the wheel. And that grain flow is what gives us the strength over normal aluminum, up to 30%. But a forged wheel, as opposed to a cast wheel, a cast wheel, they pour the aluminum into a mold. It has porosity. It has little tiny holes all throughout, all throughout that product. Um, ends up being heavier because you have to use more material to get that wheel even remotely strong enough to even be load rated for, for dipping on the street. Where a forged wheel is, they're hitting that, that aluminum um, usually starts out as, a, as like a small cylinder and, and they, uh, they hit it with a 6,000 or 8,000 pound press into the shape of, uh, on, a, on a center, it's into the shape of that center. 
and it aligns all the crystals on the aluminum to, to nice fine lines. So it, it's, uh, there's no porosity in there whatsoever, makes it considerably stronger, which enables us to remove more material and, and put the material in the right places to make the wheel lighter and stronger. The forgings are mounted in the CNC machine and the appropriate program is run, whittling down the aluminum of the wheel into a very close version of the final product. This process can take some time as many of the forge line wheels have intricate spoke designs that require multiple tool changes in the machine during the process. This is how every wheel is made one by one. Once the machining is done and the chips have all been made, the wheel is removed and finished by hand by expert wheel finishers. This careful process removes rough burrs from the edges of the forgings and in some cases adds details to the spokes or other parts of the wheel face that cannot be done on the CNC machine. The team in the grinding center are true artists and they know the details and nuances of each wheel design intimately. It is here where surface details like brushed finishes are applied, all by hand with stunning precision. After grinding, the wheel is prepped for its final finish application, which could be a number of standard colors and styles, or even a custom color. Forgeline prides themselves on being able to deliver their wheels in a variety of finishes and textures. Sometimes you need to look closely to see that the wheel face is actually brushed aluminum and the finish is a semi-transparent powder coat that adds color but allows the natural brushed appearance to remain visible. It's obvious that the Forge Line team takes pride in their work. Colors are all applied in-house using an environmentally friendly powder coating process. Details like the mounting face are carefully masked off by hand to keep the powder out of the critical tolerance areas. Once masked, the pieces are carefully hung and the powder is applied to them with an electrostatic applicator gun. This process does not use any solvents. The pieces are then placed in an oven where the powder melts and flows out over the part and then it hardens while cooling. Powder coat is a strong protective finish that also provides depth and color and various textures like high gloss or satin. Meanwhile, the proper barrel is selected based on the overall diameter of the wheel as well as the backspace of the wheel. Forge Line stocks barrels in 17 through 21 inch sizes and widths ranging from 7.5 to 13 inches. Various offsets allow the team to custom fit a wheel to the car so that it not only looks designed for the car, but also clears critical components like oversized brakes. Some barrels are polished, others receive a powder coating operation to provide color. Again, there might be a brushed finish applied to the wheel and then a translucent powder to provide protection and show off that brushed finish. After powder coating, the wheels go to the assembly table where each one is assembled by hand. Forge Line only uses top grade American made ARP stainless fasteners to bolt the wheel face to the barrel. Most of their designs utilize a blind fastener design, which means the fasteners thread in from the back side so they're invisible from the front. The team installs a helicoil insert before threading in the fastener. This provides strength and the ability to disassemble the wheel and reassemble it many times, even with aluminum threaded holes. And this is important considering these are legitimate racing wheels and they might get damaged or scuffed on the racetrack and require straightening or refinishing. Threading bolts straight into aluminum can gall or weaken the thread holes, so it's not recommended unless a helicoil insert is used. This particular wheel is going to receive 40 fasteners, all inserted by hand and all individually tightened to a specified torque. The wheels are checked to make sure they are assembled properly and will spin true, and then they are carefully protected and packaged and serialized before being sent to the customer. It's a lengthy process, but the end result is a US-made, inherently strong, custom-built, hand-assembled, race-ready wheel that looks dynamite on the street or track. You can learn how to order your next set at ForgeLine.com today.